Hello everyone, it's Sri from Rebel Technology here and today we're going to talk about how to set up a development environment for your OWL and a newly added feature of Maximum Speed Gen. So first of all, I'd like to talk to you about what actual OWL and Gen is. So let's just quickly have a look. So let me just load it up. There you go. So this is OWL and it's basically a URAC module which is a blank canvas. And what you can do is you can basically design your own DSP using C++, Pure Data, Faust, and now Gen. And you can design things from oscillators to d delays to distortions to any sort of CV processors, um, whatever you like. Also the Gen, which is a new addition to the Maximus P family. And what it is, is it's a low level coding environment and they let you code low level DSP. And what it means is you can basically still use a similar environment to Max MSP. So let me just open up for you. So as you can see um, inside, it looks kind of Max and you can code the DSP that runs on CPU and GPU directly. And that's what we're exploiting here. So you can basically design your DSP and directly load it into your CPU GPU, which OWL already has. So let's go back to the interweb. Let me just quickly show you how to set up. So first thing you need to do is you need to go to github.com. I'll give you the full link below. And if you are familiar with GitHub, you can do the Git clone. Um, if not, don't worry. Um, you can go to this green box and then hit download zip. Uh, this will actually copy and download the entire folder here. So if you go to your download folder, and there you go, that's your zip file that you wanted to get. Um, I've already unzipped it. So as you can see, it's the same thing as what you see on Chrome. So basically it's the dev template that you want to get. And uh, let's just open this one up. And I'm just gonna close this one. There you go. So let me just go back to the owl picture. And uh, let me show you. Okay, so owl has four control and the four CV inputs and uh, attenuator for those CV inputs. That's what we are basically emulating. So all the dials that are connected to those four prepends, that corresponds to input A, B, C, and D. So, so these dials are basically these four knobs. And we didn't include the, the actual CV input and attenuation um, control because you can kind of do that um, without having an extra control um so it just makes the patch cleaner that's that's what it is and then the, the one says prepend e that's your expression input this bang here is a copy of this led button and also on hardware you get this push input that is your trigger or gate input that is exactly the same as pushing this button so and then you have your two inputs and two outputs, which corresponds to in and out. So let's open this up. Um, so inside you will see these objects. Those six objects corresponds to all the inputs that we have, we set up on the max patch. So param at name A corresponds to the input that is coming out from prepend A and B is from B. C, D, E, and push like that. And then that's your audio ins in one and two and audio out one and two. So at the moment, there's nothing in there. This is just a, again, the blank patch. So you, you don't have to set it up yourself. We've done it for you. So you can just get cracking with actually making the actual DSP, which is more fun, right? So let's make a very, very, very simple, um, like two channel attenuator. 
So first of all, what you need to do is let's just save this as something else. So let's go to music. Max. My build and gen. I've already made it, but I'm just going to make it again. Um, so I'm just call it simple 10 and then hit save. I'll replace it and then same goes. So uh, one thing to be careful is the max patch and the gen patch kind of coexist, but it's kind of a separate entity. The reason why they do this is because you sometimes want to load multiple gen DSP instance into your patch. So let's hit save as, go to the same place. And then hit save and replace. This way you can keep your default patch intact. So let's load it up again. Great. So let's unlock this and all you need to do is just grab these two inputs. So this is your input A and this is your input B. And then just add two multiplication objects like so. Your audio input goes into the left, the control goes into the right, and then the multiplied signal goes into the output. And let's do the same, going into the left, going into the right, and then coming out to the output. Okay. This is all you need to do. In the world of DSP, basically multiplying the number from zero to one is equivalent of volume control that goes into complete silent into the maximum volume. So that's all you need to do. And let's just close this. Um, it will ask you if you want to save it. So let's save this. So before we export it as a code, let's just make sure this works. So I'm just going to set up sine wave at 440 hertz the good old standard plug that in and i'm going to turn the audio on and then there you go that's your left or output one this is your output two so that works that's great so all you need to do here is to create a message box and then type in expo and then normally um the max is quite smart um it will come up with all the autofill options in this case that's what we need expo code so i'm just going to click on that and then plug that into the input one that's all you need to do and then you hit the box it's going to ask you to um, tell you where to save it. Um, I've already made the folder, which is same as the patches. So I'm just going to hit that. And that's been exported. So let's just check if that's been done properly. And yeah, that's great. It's there. You don't need to worry about the contents on this folder. You can ignore this. All we need is these two files called .cpp and .h. Um, that's all we need to do. And the, the easiest way to upload your patch is go to this website called hoxtonowl.com. Um, don't worry, the link will be there. And then um, if you're not registered yet, um, please do so. I'm already registered and signed in. So I'm just going to go straight into patches. If you go to my patches and then hit create patch. Um, name this. then hit choose files and then select those two files once it finished uploading it will ask you what compilation type to use so make sure you select gen and then hit save and compile sometimes it takes a while so don't worry just be patient and yes and once it's compiled properly, you will get this message says patch completion succeeded and you can close it. 
and it's already being compiled so before we load it onto owl let's just um, hit play and then you can select either the micro input or any of these four um, sample loops so I'm just going to use jazz guitar okay yeah, something that's good right so it seems to be working Yep. Yep. Those both controls are working. That's great. Um, that means it's all good to go. So let's hit connect to owl. And then hit load. There you go. So now I can see my patch is loaded. And then the CPUs we only use is 3% CPU with very little memory. This is great. Okay, so let's uh, check the L. Oh, just set up a little synth line. So let's just check if it's coming in. Ah, yes. So that's great. I'm going to shift the output into the second channel. And that's all working. That's perfect. Okay. So that's your first tutorial of how to set up your development environment and the little dual channel attenuator. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions feel free to give us a shout and don't forget to hit subscribe and like. Um, happy patching and happy wiggling. I'll see you soon. Bye!